in this video, you're going to take a look at the fundamentals of a widget, how to use a full widget tree, how to use a shallow widget tree by refactoring with a constant, refactoring with a method, and refactoring with a widget class. Before analyzing the widget tree, let's look at the short list of widgets. At this point, do not worry about understanding the functionality of each widget. Just focus on what happens when you nest widgets and how you can separate them into smaller sections. The widget tree is how you create your UI. You position widgets within each other to build simple and complex layouts. Since just about everything in Flutter Framework is a widget, and as you start nesting them, the code can become harder to follow. A good practice to try to keep the widget tree as shallow as possible. To show how a widget tree can start to expand quickly, I'm using a combination of Cypheria, a single child scroll view, padding, a column, a row, and a container widget. This code is a simple example, and you can immediately see how the widget tree can grow quickly. To make the example code more readable and maintainable, you'll refactor major sections of the code into separate entities. You have multiple refactor options, and the most common techniques are constants, methods, and widget classes. Refactoring with a constant initializes the widget to a final variable. This approach allows you to separate widgets into sections, making for better code readability. When widgets are initialized with a constant, they rely on the build context object of the parent widget. So what does this mean? Every time the parent widget is redrawn, all of the constants will also redraw their widgets, so you can't do any performance optimizations. In the next section, you'll take a detailed look at refactoring with a method instead of a constant. The benefits of making the widget tree shallower are similar to both techniques. Now, the following sample code shows how to use a constant to initialize the container variable as a final with the container widget. You insert the container variable in the widget tree where needed. Refactoring with a method returns the widget by calling the method name. The method can return a value by general widget or a specific widget, like a container, row, and others. The widgets initialized by method rely on the built context object of the parent widget. Now, there could be unwanted side effects if these kind of methods are nested and call other nested methods or functions. Since each situation is different, do not assume that using methods is not a good choice. This approach allows you to separate widgets into sections, making for better code readability. However, like when refactoring with a constant, every time the parent widget is redrawn, all the methods will also redraw their widgets. That means the widget tree is not optimizable for performance. The following sample code shows how to use a method to return a container widget. The first method returns a container widget as a general widget. And the second method returns a container widget as a container widget. Now, both approaches are acceptable. You insert the build container method name in the widget tree where needed. Refactoring with a widget class allows you to create the widget by subclassing the stateless widget class. You can create reusable widgets within the current or separate Dart file and initiate them anywhere in the application. Notice that the constructor starts with a const keyword, which allows you to cache and reuse the widget. When calling the constructor to initiate the widget, use the const keyword. By calling with the const keyword, the widget does not rebuild when other widgets change their state in the tree. If you omit the const keyword, the widget will be called every time the parent widget redraws. The widget class relies on its own build context, not the parent like the constant and method approaches. Build context is responsible for handling the location of a widget in the widget tree. So what does this mean? 
Every time the parent widget is redrawn, all of the widget classes will not redraw. They're built only once, which is great for performance optimization. The following sample code shows how to use the widget class to return a container widget. You insert the const container left widget in the widget tree where needed. Note the use of the const keyword to take advantage of caching.